And welcome back here. I'm here this morning with Natalie and Julie with Hairball Haven. We usually are out of Bismarck, and we have Furry Friends Rock and Rescue, and Hairball Haven is a sister, a sister affiliation, correct? Yeah, yeah, somewhat. So, we, yeah. yeah. We, we have our own rescue here in Minot, and we work closely with them on uh, hoarding cases and, and other cases. Um, because we mostly pull from the pound and we mm -hmm. get a lot of cats and sometimes we can't place here in Minot. Right. And then we will reach out to Julie and Furry Friends. So. That's awesome. Yeah. All the work you guys do is just amazing. And let's start with Butte this morning. Tell us about Butte. They're naming the animals after towns, right? Small towns? Small North Dakota towns. Mm -hmm. um, this is Butte. He came from an unfortunate situation, um, a hoarding situation actually. Um, he needed intense veterinary care um, and lots of TLC. Mm -hmm. um, and he is a lover now after he's feeling much better. He's a little camera shy today, <laughs> but um, as you can see, he, he bears some yeah. permanent scars from his situation. But He's uh, come around a lot. Yeah, he was just snuggling into, just hiding earlier. He's so, my buddy. <laughs> tell us then about what you guys do and the needs that you have. And also, there's a vaccination clinic coming up, is that correct? Yes, primarily um, Hairball Haven pulls from the Minot City Pound. That is our main focus. But then, especially in the last four months, we have taken on a lot of hoarding cases mm -hmm. in all sorts of counties, from Ward to Sheridan to Rolette. Um, to Botno County, they're just everywhere. Yeah. And thanks to Furry Friends and other local rescues um, in North Dakota, where we were able to move 115 cats yes. in four months. So that is huge, and it takes so much networking and communication to, you know, just to transfer these yeah. cats from, you know, out in the country to a different city. Absolutely. So, so right now, I'm assuming you could use any monetary funding that possible. Volunteers, I'm assuming you're always looking for? Yes, volunteers. We recently took on, um, we're, we're leasing part of Pinkerton Building, and we're getting that all in order now, and soon we're going to be reaching out for volunteers to help with kitty chores. Yes, so. and I know there's so many, I, I'm assuming you can re have parents bring their kids in and, and yes. just help yes. any, mm -hmm. any hands-on, yeah. and any events that you want to tell us about? Dunseith. Yes, Dunseith um, Furry Friends is teaming up with Rev next weekend, next Saturday um, at the Dunseith building from uh, 12 to 4. They're doing vaccines, light vetting, um, deworming, um, for, and it's all for free. Amazing. Well, thank you, ladies, both for joining us so bright and early. And Butte, you too. Is Butte up for adoption? He is. He, he has a potential adopter, but we're still okay. doing some things in the works. But yes, well, lots available. Yep. Yes, we have yep. many available. Yep. For thank you. Goals. They can reach out to us on our Facebook page too. Okay. Awesome. Thank, thank you both you for having us. Yes. Thank you. And now Amber. Now she's just busy down there. I'm sure you guys could use four wheelers to get some cats. Yes. And Amber's on one <laughs> that you might be able to use. Amber. <laughs> well, I'm in one of these off-road vehicles here. This one carrying another off-road vehicle. So this is really for the outdoor 